Well, hi, it's another early morning start for us. Um, I wanted to show you uh, after yesterday's video of clearing out the cupboard, I wanted to show you what's in the little uh, storage box that we never, we didn't empty out yesterday. So um, I'm just going to go through that uh, in a bit more detail. There is, of course, the power supply, that's a little power block for the two terabyte G drive that I use. Um, it used to sit, that G drive used to sit on my desk at uh, when I had a bricks and mortar flat and that was, uh, that was my sort of general working drive. These days um, that two terabyte drive with a big power supply has become sort of too unwieldy to carry around in a caravan so it mainly just stays in the technical cupboard and I think that is where it will stay. Um, I might just uh, hook that up. Um, I don't know, it, it, it's really hard to um, to know what to do with it. It's a two terabyte drive. It's uh, from G Tech, uh, G Technologies. Um, it's a really great drive, really reliable. Um, but I don't think, I don't know, I'm thinking about it uh, and I don't think I can find a use for it. So what I should do is reformat it, clear it down and put it on eBay. So that is probably what will happen to the G drive. Um, two terabyte. But let me. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. So this is this is the thing. If and if you didn't see yesterday's video, this is it. It's a it's a great little drive. It's about fifty millimeters, two inches high, um, and about eight inches long, I think. Uh, so, but it has. Um, E SATA uh, connection, a Firewire 800 connection, of uh, two Firewire 800 connections, and a USB 2. So you see, it's um, it's not it's not brand new technology, having the Firewire and the USB 2. Um, I think you know the the newer drives like this have USB 3. Uh, eSATA and um, Thunderbolt connection for Apple um, but it really is a great drive I don't use it much so that is going to go on eBay I think it was about like 180 quid when I bought it um, I don't suppose it's worth very much now so I'll see what I can get um, the next thing I have a bunch of these little cables this is an old the old Apple connector um, for I iPhone and iPad. So, uh, I don't know, quite honestly, I might just dump that in a bin. I have a little notebook. Um, it's a sort of back pocket notebook. It really does well in there. It's one that I used to use um, when I was going to Toastmasters and doing public speaking a lot. Um, <laughs> the first note in there is uh, <laughs> preparation, performance and uh, preparation, practice and performance. And you know if you've ever done any public speaking or are thinking of doing any public speaking then preparation, practice will lead to a great performance. Um, I'm going to stop talking about <laughs> public speaking there because it is a passion of mine. I do love an audience um, and I've, I've been a member of Toastmasters uh, for, uh, well I was about a member for just over five years and I learnt a lot with them so um, yeah so there's a lot of notes in there about public speaking um, so I'm going to keep that because uh, where I'm set up at the moment in the northeast, I'm 
probably going to go to um, some of the public speaking or Toastmasters clubs around, um, just to just as a bit of interest, really. So that will stay in the cupboard and in the box. I've got uh, a couple of um, Uniros uh, rechargeable batteries. And if you're buying rechargeable AA cells like this, um, I was recommended to get the 2700. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the 2700 um, uh, milliamp hour. Uh, uh, nickel metal hydride because they are they last the longest. I'm I do know that I used to use these in my flash guns when I was doing a lot of photography and using off camera flash a lot. So they are really good. But I think do you know what I think they are like past their best and um, I'm not quite sure. I think I'll just pop them back in the box uh, and drag out the car chargers. I have um, an I Spy car journey book uh, which we bought for our grandchildren to give them but I, 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 you know we buy this stuff and then we never give it to them. Uh, we must be mad. But there you are, it will go to them. It was, um, I can't remember where we bought it. Oh, yes, I can. I just remembered that. We bought this when on a visit to um, Bristol. And I bought this in the, uh, in the tourist information shop. It was £2.50. Oh, there you go. It's quite a nice little book. Yeah, so probably send that off to one of the grandchildren at some point maybe maybe uh, uh, maybe I'll post it to Australia hmm. so um, I have a bag of nuts and bolts these definitely nuts and bolts and plastic washers oh I know where these came from these came from the TV that we have mounted at the back um, so I never did show you that, but I mounted a TV at the back of the van, uh, just over the bed, so we could watch TV in bed, um, which we do occasionally. It's not, it's not a big thing. But, um, that that does have a DVD player in it, so we can watch DVDs. Um, and these, all these nut, little nuts and bolts, were all part of that pack. So I think these can go into the toolbox. Yeah, <laughs> I had a bit of a splurge out on uh, ball bungees. Um, these are the little elasticated things with a ball on. That and it, it, these are these are great. When I when I was looking for these, when I was doing photography and a lot of off-camera flash, these would have been perfect to link together and wrap round a, a flash gun and a post just to secure that on in all sorts of weird positions. So, and you, you, as you can see, you can link these. You, you can link these together um, over and over again so that you get that sort of stretchy, longer stretchy uh, piece of elastic and you can pretty much go round any sort of structure with those and attach anything and pull it tight. Um, I've got about six bags of this so I've got about 70 uh, ball bungees. Some I use outside uh, to attach cables to things and stuff like that but most you know I've just not used. So I think these can go back into the toolbox. Um, there's no need for them to be out and available. I might keep just a few in the in the box here. I have a pack of uh, mixed fuses. These are the, the sort of things that go into a um, plug. So if you've got uh, here's a, an excellent example. So the power supply from the G drive 
Um, I think you might be able to see just in there, just in that bit there, you can see a little fuse which you can pop out with a screwdriver and replace. So if there's something going wrong, um, you can pop a, and the fuse blows, things will stop working, you can pop that back in. So might keep that in the box there. Um, yeah, I have a hmm, single television aerial socket. Uh, bought that because I thought I might need it to put the TV somewhere else. We're actually not going to do that now, so I think I'll pop that in the charity bag. More, uh, <laughs> would you believe, roofing bolts. But <laughs> the reason these are roofing but I, you know I, there's there's a set of um, bolts and square nuts and and I've got some uh, self-locking sort of nylock I've got some self-locking uh, nylon locking nuts on the on there as well so they'll probably pop down into the toolbox uh, more uh, oh, these are these are a little pack of cable tie, um, cable cleats. So the little plastic things that you nail in, they'll go in the toolbox. An Apple USB charger for an iPhone. Hmm. I think I might keep that in there, in in the box. Uh, I have a cigar lighter charger and I absolutely cannot remember what on earth that is for no nope, there's nothing in there to give me a clue um, another packet of those roofing bolts which will go down into the toolbox I, I have no idea what that's for so I think I'll put that under the bed and uh, probably then forget about it so in the technical box I whenever I get some electrical equipment they usually supply this sort of uh, bags of little silicon gel which soak up the moisture quite useful so I keep that in the box um, I bought a set of tap spanners monoblock uh, back nut tap spanner set so there's that um, our sink in the kitchen area tap is loose so I brought that to tighten those up did a really good job and uh, also in in the little blue box is this thing they might be wondering what this is um, it's a Zoom H4N voice recorder, which um, if you're if you're doing any sort of public speaking, podcasting, and stuff like that, you need a decent microphone if you're recording it. Um, and this is excellent. I did buy first of all the H1N which was uh, plasticky and useless. When you held it and you spoke into it, you could actually hear the plastic creaking through you holding it in the microphone. This, nothing like that. Although um, it's battery powered, lasts ages, and it has stereo microphones on the front, and a stereo, well, um, two channel microphones with, um, microphone jack and um, do you know what I can't remember the other type of connector that goes on but it's the it's the pro audio connection um, it goes on there so really good I think I'll keep that in the box because um, I have plans to recommence my podcasting so we'll be doing that Anyway, I've rambled on enough about what's in that box. I'm going to make myself some breakfast uh, and I'll probably have the usual of uh, three scrambled eggs with milk and butter. 
Um, I'll have to show you me making those one day. It's, uh, it's a really quick thing uh, and I love it. Anyway, that's it for today. Hi guys and thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe. Check out all our other videos to keep following us on the road. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye bye.